So, in the first part, we have seen the initial efforts of some of the people who were trying to make or raise the consciousness of the people through the pamphlets and small meetings. In that process, we could see a change, means gradually the polarization towards the towards the demand for Telangana is beginning. It not yet formed, still it is in the initial stages. So, in this process, after Telangana Democratic Front and Telangana Party, we have to talk about Telangana Janasabha. Telangana Janasabha was founded by Satyanarayana. He was the publisher of a magazine known as State Advisor. State Advisor was talking about the injustice to Telangana. It was a magazine, not a big magazine. See, we have seen in different periods, though the big papers, newspapers or magazines are not in favor of Telangana. As we have discussed all earlier, by 1966, Golconda Patrika was stopped. So, the mainstream newspapers or big newspapers are not in favor of Telangana. Who carried the torch or light of Telangana? It is the small papers. Like 1969 movement, we should remember, it can be asked in your examination. One paper which is known as a periodical published from Varangal, Janadharma. And now State Advisor or Flash and Fellow Men. These papers or magazines do not have a huge circulation, but still their voice is regarded. Their voice is seen, not like the papers or mostly widely circulated papers which are against Telangana. So, this state advisor publisher, Satyanarayana, has founded an organization known as Telangana Janasabha. And these same people who organized, means this Telangana Janasabha people, organized a meeting in 1984 on 27th February in Andhra Saraswati Parishad Hall. Remember this Andhra Saraswati Parishad Hall, the literary organization is Andhra Saraswati Parishad. And in Bogulakunta in Hyderabad, there is this Andhra Saraswati Parishad Hall. This is a place for the gathering of literary personalities or mass meetings or political meetings. Now, because of the change of space, there is, uh, there is a lot of difference. No big meetings are happening in Andhra Saraswati Parishad Hall. But now, uh, but then this SP Hall we used to call Saraswati Parishad Hall, Andhra Saraswati Parishad Hall was a place of gathering. Now, another important aspect I am talking about the, after this 2014, this, the name of this Andhra Saraswat Parishad Hall or Andhra Saraswat Parishad is changed to Telangana Saraswat Parishad. And before his death, Dr. C. Narayan Reddy was the president or chairman of this Telangana Saraswat Parishad. So, this Andhra Saraswat Parishad Hall, the meeting held and the meeting was organized by Telangana Janasabha, in which Vande Matra Ramachandra Rao presided this meeting. We are talking about a person who is from Arya Samaj. Because we will be talking about the contribution of Arya Samaj in different periods of time for Telangana quest also. So, Vande Matra Ramachandra Rao, if we recollect about his credibility or his understanding, Vande Matra Ramachandra Rao chanted Vande Matra again and again during the Nizam period and he was beaten and put in jail behind bars. So, that is why his name is something else, Ramchandra Rao and his surname would have been something else. But because of his chanting of or his reciting of Vande Matram again and again, he was, he, his name is permanently named as Vande Matram Ramachandra Rao. So, Vande Matram Ramachandra Rao, a respected Arya Samaj leader from Hyderabad, presided this meeting. So, in this meeting again, the discussion about Telangana, discussion about how to solve the issues, how to get Telangana separate state. So, all these things were happening as initial blickerings. These are not big things, smaller things, but still it has its role in the next phase too. So, after this meeting, the Telangana Janasabha leaders met Rajiv Gandhi, then the Prime Minister, S.B. Chavan, and opposition leader L.K. Advani, George Fernandez, a socialist leader, and many leaders at in Delhi. So, meeting them is important because to take the issue to the center. Because who has to grant a statehood? Whatever you do here, it should be reflected. 
it should be resonated reverberated in delhi too then only you can get telangana so though the moment is not there these people having a small meeting here but going to delhi and representing the issue of telangana with the national leaders this is important in the last phase also we can see hyderabad or telangana is the place where the activities are being held but at times we will go to delhi chelo delhi or something else so that we can take this issue to the national politics and make a favorable condition make an atmosphere create an atmosphere in parliament to get a separate telangana that is why the initial period here also they are talking and they are taking the representation to delhi and meeting the leaders and after coming back within no time they have dissolved the telangana janasabha they dissolved telangana janasabha to pave way for revival of telangana praja samiti tps tps was the form which came in 1969 tps has some importance though tps was the uh, organization which was merged into congress party and agitation died down tps as the organization as an agitationist organization had a major role remember in telangana agitation parties and election parties are different even in the last phase if you see ksr used to say always that trs is an agitation party not a regular political party so udyama party trs this was the saying of ksr so like that agitation is the main goal it is not the elections are sitting in the assemblies or any constitutional bodies so tps credibility is there in the people as a an agitation organization so they wanted to revive tps and tjs that is telangana janasabha was dissolved now talking about arya samaj efforts in reviving the issue of telangana when there is a lull there is silence no one is talking about this many political organizations are there no, not there they are not talking about telangana even some organizations are not yet formed which talked about telangana in the latter phase in a very big way at this point of time arya samaj was supporting telangana interestingly hyderabad arya samaj or the arya samaj leaders of hyderabad or the people in hyderabad who are associated with arya samaj were in support of telangana if you recollect ramanand tirtha a leader a swami ji type from aurangabad region marathwada region arya samaj he was not supporting telangana he was in favor of united andhra pradesh but hyderabad arya samaj was completely in support of telangana and their body that is sarvajanik arya pratinidhi sabha was asked means the person here who is initiating the thing that is vande matram ramchandra rao we talked about just now vande matram ramchandra rao initiated the process means he was talking with his organization at the national level and asked their sarvadeshik arya pratinidhi sabha to constitute a team to study the issue of telangana so that arya samaj central body they have constituted a team with two people om prakash tyagi and hks malik they toured the telangana and they reported on telangana they brought out a small report on telangana saying that telangana demand is justified telangana people need a separate state so they have brought out a report and this report they are making it public at the same time they are sending it to the then prime minister rajiv gandhi they have wrote, they wrote a letter a 10 page letter to rajiv gandhi and attached this report also saying that consider the creation of telangana as a separate state so arya samaj thoroughly without any hesitation without any conditions or preconditions supported telangana in this period in later period too because arya samaj has completely narrowed its activity or narrowed its scope as a religious or a social reformist set no into not into politics we don't see much activity of arya samaj in the last phase of telangana movement but in the initial days if we recollect the history of telangana itself in 1940s 30s and 40s under nizam period arya samaj was not just a religious or reformist organization it was into political activity too 
they were into independence struggle too in hyderabad state so they played a political role during this period when the silence is there in telangana about its demand so this is about arya samaj efforts then come to the other intellectual activity intellectuals are the people who will make the theories who will make the contribution means they will sum up the whole thing and make the effort may their efforts will bring some aspects in consolidated form they can talk about the injustice in a very very threadbare manner in a scientific manner and put it before the people that is why i'm talking about the intellectual activity which is very very important and of course because intellectuals are concentrated in the universities universities are the centers for the intellectual activity and making the ideological base strong for any movement and usmani university played that role in all periods of our times starting from its inception usmani university was a place where dissent is its rule dissent i am saying dissent means what wherever there is injustice usmani university will rise vande matra movement under nizam period or the activities of the people who became the communists were from usmani university the congress leader some congress leaders communists or some liberals who were fighting for the causes of the independence movement or anti nizam movement so usmani university has brought many people into the society who can contribute and this phase too we can see usmani university there was a forum launched in usmani university for telangana remember i am taking you back to if you are going to telangana usmani university or any educational institution we have to talk about something 69 movement was very strong in the all educational institutions till 70 all the educational institutions were simmering with the zeal were simmering with the demand of separate telangana but post 70s there was no demand but what is happening in this period 80 70 uh, 72 onwards you can see 70 onwards 70 you can take 70 70 onwards till 85s or 87 or 80 this middle part of this 90s 80s you can see left radical left movement or naxalite movement was a prominent movement in all universities students who were for change are going into radical politics or left wing politics means naxalite politics on one side it was happening the whole decade that is eight, uh, from 70 to 80 we can see growth of left wing politics or radical politics in universities and they were into it but after this from 80 to 90s we can see a change in the attitude of the state there was a heavy repression in the university campuses and by 87 or 89 we can say gradual decline of the radical or naxalite politics or naxalbari politics in universities is happening though they continued still they were there but it is not as big as as a movement because there was an undeclared repression or ban on radical or naxalite politics in universities so because of the repression the activities were decreasing but the vacuum if we see historical junctures we can see what at one point of time if two liberal or radical ideas are there if one is subsiding the vacuum will be filled with the another demand which is also just i am taking you to some other explanation like in telangana society starting from shatavana phase i am just talking about historical phases so that you can understand things when buddhism was strong vedic religion also was there so two religions were strong one is buddhism as a popular religion in the society vedic religion which is patronized for the sanctity of the rule by the ruling class and gradually when buddhism is declining jainism occupied this vacuum similarly when left wing or radical politics or naxalbari politics are decline on decline that vacuum was filled by the progressive elements in the universities so 1987 this was a period undeclared ban started in universities on naxalite politics so they have launched a new organization that is ou forum for telangana 
on 7 september 1987 oyu forum for telangana was launched professor lakshman was the president of this organization a teacher he was not professor then he was a teacher he was a student professor or uh, reader so lakshman presided and dasharathi krishnamacharya was the chief guest remember dasharathi krishnamacharya as a giant of telangana literature he opposed nizam he said two popular sayings are there of dasharathi dasharathi said na telangana koti ratanala veena another important slogan or the uh, denial of nizam another popular win nizam razu tarataraala booju his works rudravina agnidhara all these things are very very popular and he was a lyricist in telugu film industry too krishnamacharya was dasharathi krishnamacharya was the leader of literary movement from telangana he represented the telangana's literary spirit he was the last asthana kavi of united andhra pradesh when nt ramarao came to power he abolished this asthana kavi post and humiliated dasharathi by abolishing it he was opposing all these things so dasharathi a staunch telanganite and a struggler a fighter against the unjust politics of any ruling class so was the chief guest so dasharathi is chief he, he was there and the meeting was organized to discuss the issues of telangana have what is happening in telangana so thus oyu forum for telangana which was formed in 1987 continued its efforts at an intellectual level meetings in university bringing out pamphlets discussions on different sectors how these sectors are being affected in united andhra pradesh so apart from that this oyu forum for telangana organized meetings such as creation the meetings national convention or the bigger meetings by inviting the leaders from outside this state to support telangana means bridging the things with telangana the outer places delhi or national politics or liberals or socialists or the people who are supporting telangana for example george fernandez was a continuous supporter in the last phase we could see swami agnivesh coming into all telangana meetings swami agnivesh an arya samaj leader like that george fernandez was also a staunch supporter of telangana movement in many phases who worked as defense minister under atal bihari vajpayee government so george fernandez and many other political leaders of national stature were called in such meetings to make bridge or to link up the movements for smaller states here and outside the state so apart from this they continued many activities major activities propaganda and research so next organization we should talk is the revival of telangana praja samiti already we have discussed when telangana janasabha was being dissolved the aim of dissolution of telangana janas janasabha was to revive telangana praja samiti telangana praja samiti if whenever we talk about telangana praja samiti from day one till the end till his death we should not forget one name that is pratap kishore a journalist pratap kishore and others were into the activity again in this period and in 1987 6 june they have started a padayatra pratap kishore sanaulla and some more people they started padayatra from hyderabad to delhi but see this is the phase where there is no much popular support and automatically of course the governments will not support such activities because they are against them so popular support is also not so big and limited resources they could not continue the padayatra because the money which they had were spent was spent by the time they reached nagpur so till nagpur they conducted padayatra and from there they went to delhi through train by train so after reaching delhi they met vice president sikandar bhat sikandar bhat was the vice president of india then memorandum was given to him demands were put before him about the injustice to telangana so with this the same year within no time tps was revived all the activities which we are talking about padayatra all these things are tps activities only so tps revival and bhupati krishnamurthy who was known as telangana gandhi a popular man from karimnagar 
who was with the Telangana movement forever, starting from 52 to till his death in the last few two years back or three years back. Bhupat Krishnamurti, popularly known as Telangana Gandhi, was elected as the president of TPS. So, TPS got revived. And the next thing is, some more people who were not into TPS or into any mass organization, they were also making efforts. One such name we have to discuss or think about was XMLC Velchala Jagapati Rao. Velchala Jagapati Rao, a Congress leader, XMLC, his efforts were, though he was doing it alone, it also created some impact on the society. He was bringing out pamphlets, publishing booklets and organizing meetings. He organized a big meeting in Karimnagar, which was attended, attended by a huge gathering. And books and publications he was making, booklets, uh, these booklets or pamphlets, was another instrument of propaganda. So remember Velichala Jagapat Rao as a person who made, who continued his propaganda for Telangana in XMLC. And coming to the next point, which is very, very important. Till here, we see all the efforts of organizations or individuals very separately. Like individual aspects are unlinked aspects with one another, small groups. But what is happening at this point of time, very important formation, that is the formation of Telangana Information Trust or Telangana Information Center. Though, if I am speaking in, in, in a, in a uh, what you call, in a praising manner, don't think that it's a huge, big organization. This Telangana Information Trust or Telangana Information Center was a small activity. Though it was a small activity, like in philosophy we say, if you see a seed, see a tree in that seed. You may not, all the people cannot see a tree in the seed, but the seed will regenerate, will generate into a big tree. So, where is the tree? Hidden in that. Seed is so small. Likewise, these efforts are having its impact. And Telangana Information Trust is one such organization which paved way for polarizing or organizing or galvanizing or bringing the people into the activity. As I said, one person, Padmanabhan, who was bringing flash and phenomenon, was a consistent, ardent, activist of Telangana. So, Padmanabhan was in touch with a printing press owner known as Prabhakar. The press name is Natyakala Press. Natyakala, so he was known as Natyakala Prabhakar. So, Padmanabhan's efforts in inspiring Prabhakar is the major reason for the formation of this one. In Khairtabad, he had his press known as Natyakala Press. So, Padmanabhan used to go to that press to publish his booklets, to print, get his uh, booklets printed, pamphlets to get it printed. In that interaction, Prabhakar, who was into the PDSU activities, PDSU means Chandrapullaradi group, or the activities, Naxalite politics. So, Prabhakar was inspired with left wing politics, and later he was into his own printing press and these things. And Prabhakar was inspired by Padmanabham. So, as a result, they found, they have founded one organization that is Telangana Information Center. Again, who are there? All the same people we talked about. I said torch bearers of this face. That is why, same names. Professor Jayashankar, Professor Keshavrao Jadav, Lakshman, another one, Professor Harinath, who is becoming active. Harinath was there in the university. And Harinath is another important person who is continuing his activities even in this phase. So, all these people were there in the information center. And in, um, in 1988, 14 July, they found Telangana Information Trust. These two bodies, one are similar. See, Trust and Information Center have some their technical differences. But the main essence of these two organizations is they have to do propaganda for Telangana. So, again in this trust, the members of this trust were Telangana Prabhakar. You see the name, the name itself is Telangana Prabhakar now. In Telangana, you have some people whose name is completely changed like Telangana Prabhakar, Telangana Prakash. We presently, we see V. Prakash, a person who was into Telangana movement in all phases. 
now we majority of his friends are the even in tv channels we call him as telangana prakash likewise telangana prabhakar see the activity makes your name it prefixes the name with your original name so telangana prabhakar jay shankar keshavrao jadav dr a vidayak reddy harinath were the members of this trust so what were the activities of this trust this trust our center is bringing out booklets and kaloji is the spirit behind this kaloji was continuously in interaction with all these things in telangana information center so they have started a magazine known as ma telangana magazine in 1989 on 13th august in one basant talkies in hyderabad they organized a meeting and they have launched the paper and that paper is known as ma telangana editor was prabhakar so prabhakar brought out a magazine known as ma telangana kaloji justice konda madhav reddy jay shankar anand rao ev padmanabham pratap kishor all these people attended the meeting they spoke at length about the injustice and the need to get organized so in this background ma telangana magazine was launched some issues came in the latter period main aspect main book we talk about is this trust brought a magazine book known as perspectives on telangana this is important remember telangana information trust our center you write it can be asked to both ways that brought out a book known as perspectives on telangana and the same thing organization campaigned against ntr in kalvakurthi so campaigning against ntr yielded results ntr lost then comes students tslo tlso sorry tlso telangana liberation students organization tlso was formed in 1992 by manohar reddy and some more activists like jagan reddy krishna mohan all these people started this organization liberation because by this time ltt and liberation telangana liberation or elam all this liberation is a style name and telangana should get liberated so tls tlso was the organization and they fought against the open quota reserved for andhras see when reservation is stopped 80% reserve seats are reserved for locals so remaining 20 is for open open means even telangana people should be considered for this 20% seats but what they were doing they were reserving this to andhras means it is not telangana reservation 80 it is 20% reserved for andhra so against this they fought they successfully fought and they militantly fought they crossed some limits also whenever such things are happening but tlso is regarded as one organization which fought for the rights of the locals in admissions in osmania then there was another issue like 127 andhra lecturers were transferred were getting transferred not a transferred the minister explained this or declared it in the assembly immediately this manohar reddy the leader of tlso sat on hunger strike and after few days the government has to yield to the pressure and they withdrew the order means they successfully stopped or halted getting the andhra lecturers transferred to telangana so along with the telangana students the liberation students organization there is another organization known as telangana students front they also fought many issues together so they fought against the discrimination in curriculum also they proposed that telangana history and literature should be included in the curriculum and to accept a big failure but a little success in the correspondence course usmani university they have included vatikota alwar swami's prajala manshi into the syllabus nothing more than that so we have to understand that though the things are not favorable they are fighting against all these things and taking up the social issues like fluoride issue in nalgonda it is a water which is a problem because of lack of water you are getting fluorosis krishna water is a solution so there was a big yatra anti fluorosis yatra and it culminated in usmania and tlso organized that meeting a big meeting don't convert telangana into somalia they shouted so they are participating in every activity which is related to telangana they met leaders in delhi they met george fernandez as i discussed already ab bardhan cpi leader shibu soren who was the leader of jharkhand jharkhand mukti morcha and many bjp leaders and organized a convention of smaller states in 1993 in hyderabad in usmania university and 
Fernandez came, Surendra Mohan, other, another important socialist leader came, MP, member of parliament came and spoke and they were fighting culturally too. Like in films also, there was a discrimination. One film, Mondi Mogudu Penki Pellam, a discrimination means belittling of Telangana culture was the main aspect. They opposed it. So, TLS4 had many activities. Now, we talk about some more activities very important. TPS convention was held 23rd January 1994. And another important aspect is in 1985, where was a big issue post-1985, after N.T. Uh, post-1995, after N.T. Ramara was thrown out of power, Chandrababu occupied the throne, then Yanamala Ramakrishna, the speaker, stopped the MLA Dasyam Pranay Bhaskar, Dasyam Pranay Bhaskar, saying that the, you should not use the name Telangana. Telangana name is not constitutional, he said. You see the tragedy. Telangana Regional Council was in the agreement, gentleman agreement. Telangana Regional Committee was there. Telangana Regional Board was there. And now in the assembly itself, they are banning the term Telangana. So, Pranay Bhaskar opposed and he resigned. But later he took back the resignation because Jay Shankar, like people asked him to stop and asked him to continue so that you can raise the voice in assembly too. Later, the major aspect is Deve Gauda's declaration or understanding of the policy of smaller states. From the ramparts of Red Fort, Deve Gauda declared that they are not opposing new creation of new states like Uttarakhand. So, on 15th August 1996, the boost came into Telangana that there is a little hope that central government can be persuaded for the creation of Telangana. And immediately a meeting was organized by the advocates in Nizamabad. So, now again the momentum has picked up and many other things are happening in this process. And one more thing I have to talk about. Another Telangana Mukti Morcha was formed by Mechini Nikishan Rao, ex-minister under Nadrinla ministry, one month minister. Then TPS meeting, a huge gathering. Then lastly, Malayapalli Rajam Trust was organizing a meeting in 1994. Actually, this is an annual affair. Malayapalli Rajam Trust organized by Malayapalli Lakshmaya, a noted journalist, a senior journalist, in memory of this Rajam, who was killed, a trade unionist, a leader in Singareni. So, every year the meeting will be held. So, in that year, in 1994, the memorial lecture was Telangana lo yemi jaruutondi. What is happening in Telangana? The current situation. It was given or delivered by Professor Jay Shankar. So, all these activities are making some change. So, how to conclude? How to sum up these things? One thing, the first aspect is the silence should be broken. So, breaking the silence is the major aspect against the new face of attack on Telangana. Post-1973, there is a new face of attack. So, we have to break the silence. Means, do propaganda, do activity, though in a lesser scale. But we should continue the activity. This is the first point about this period. Second thing is, the people who were the activists of 1969, the individuals started the group. And it's from individuals to group meetings, then small organizations. You can see a gradual growth of the movement in this entire period. Then, if we can formulate this, when there is no hesitation, Propaganda can keep the spirit alive. This is the lesson we have to learn from this period. And intellectual activity which provided the basis, ideological basis for the movement. I am talking about ideological basis. In the last phase of Telangana movement, we can see we had a strong intellectual or ideological basis. Why we need Telangana? We had 1001 reasons. And why should we unite it? There is no single reason. Only one reason they talk about, no, another mullah kali sundam. Let's stay together as brothers. Is it a reason? That is not ideological. It's a stupid reason. But Telangana has 1001 reasons to talk about. So this ideological base was created during this period. And it created as a small movement. And that stream was kept alive. And finally, this has becoming a wider opinion. So all the activities of this period, intellectual activity or small gatherings or small initiatives or making a way for the new wave of mass movement which we will be talking in the next class.